Hey guys, how's it going? It is Ali here today, and today I'm gonna to be bringing you a product review slash unboxing of the Lemon Symbol, so stick around for more. So guys, what do we have here then? So we have the lemon symbols, and these have come all the way from China and they were shipped via FedEx airmail. Um, I think I ordered, I'm pretty certain it was probably about a week and a half ago. And I mean, to get to the UK from China, that's really quick. I paid for three symbols from lemon and they were really helpful and really quick at replying. Um, I got the 18 inch ride. Um, I got a 13 inch crash and a 16 inch crash ride. Um, but the crash ride hasn't yet turned up. So I'm probably gonna leave a part of it out. But for today's sake, we're just gonna unbox and review these two symbols. So how much did I pay for these? Um, they were very cheap, including shipping. I mean, without shipping, um, they would have been about for the free free symbols probably about 120 pounds but because of the shipping you have to they charge you basically another 100 pounds so i mean you're looking at about 230 pounds for free symbols and i mean these are quite big symbols they're realistic size the 18 inch ride uh i mean the 13 inch crash maybe that is a bit small but i've been using roland symbols and the main reason for moving to these symbols hopefully they're good we'll see um it's because the roland symbols that i'm using they have sadly cracked on me which i mean that's not really that good or useful to myself um and i think it's the one thing that they don't roland especially that they don't uh put warranty on i think they do put it on the actual like the drums and the module but I mean, these symbols, they broke like after a year or so. So, I mean, they didn't want to honor it in their warranty, which I mean, for me, it's not very good because I mean, if you're paying for a Roland drum set, you expect good quality. Um, but I don't know, you usually get a really good product with Roland and you know what you're going to get. But when it breaks, I mean, it sucks. So, um, but yeah, I mean, for the price of like one Roland symbol, you're gonna get a whole set of these lemon symbols from China. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see if they're any good today. Um, yeah, let's get unboxing. Just to show you very quickly what I was on about with the Roland symbols that are broken on me. This one here has actually cracked and the whole part of the, the plastic is, is coming away and it's broken. Um, and part of the, mem the, I think it's the membrane, sort of the triggering bit, actually cracked and fell out. So I can only really hit the symbol here and it, it kind of triggers, but I wanted to replace all these. So um, yeah, let's get into it. So guys, I'm gonna unbox these lemon symbols. So they are from China. Uh, we'll see what they are like inside. So what do we get in the box? This is the 18 inch ride. Um, oh, something else has just fallen out of the box as well. So it looks like, oh, that's really neat actually. They give you one of the adapters for the Roland uh, cymbal topper. So I can put that on the my cymbal and it will stop it from spinning. So that is brilliant. That is a solution right there that I was worried about. But let's have a look inside so it is packaged with this foam here protecting the symbol and that's really neat actually nice and lightweight and protective so this is the ride so this is the 18 inch ride and it is a hell of an upgrade compared to my 13 inch ride that i currently have on my custom kit um i mean this thing is super cheap and it's super big for the money. Uh, it has two inputs, which will fit my Joe Becky, not Joe Becky, sorry. It will fit my Roland TD 25 KV drum set. So it's got triggering for the ride and the bell, which is brilliant. 
Um, I think sometimes some symbols they have free inputs for, for sort of more triggering. Um, this one only has two. For me, that isn't an issue. Um, I'm going to be running this through Superior Drummer. I did read online and have seen some videos that these have been wired up wrong. So we'll see if it is wired up wrong. Um, if it is, I will show you a fix, how to fix it. So um, yeah, so that is the 18 inch. And now we are gonna get on to the 13. As I said, I do have a, what size was it? It was the 16 inch ride slash crash coming as well. Um, I believe it's probably just got lost along the way. Um, and these two have just turned up. So it'll probably be here tomorrow. I might do a video on that if that turns up as well. So what do we get in the 13 inch ride? Uh, sorry, crash, I mean. We don't get the polystyrene that the ride was wrapped in, but we do get the symbol top adapter as well, which is really handy with the Allen key. Um, so I believe this will be the size of my current ride symbol, which is quite small. And to be honest, for the money, I think these symbols on first glance are great. Uh, they look really clean. They, they sort of look like they're gonna mimic what the Rolands do. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what the triggering's like. And yeah, I'll put it over to the kit now and let's see what triggering's like. So guys, what do these things look like on the first glance? And I mean, for the money, I think they are really cool looking on first glance. I still think the Roland symbols, they just look a bit sleeker and a bit cooler. You can kind of see that sort of side profile there. Uh, I still think the Roland's actually look better. Um, just, out, just out of curiosity, if you were wondering, I'm using the Joe Becky hat that I'm also testing at the minute. Um, but today we are talking about the 18 inch ride and the 13 inch crash. Um, yeah, I don't think they look as good as Roland's, but I mean, the ride I think looks really sleek, but this crash almost looks a bit funny with that little bit under there. But let's get into testing them out and seeing what the triggering's like. So guys, I've just had a little play with these symbols and overall I think they feel and the sensitivity of these things for the money is great. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of playing now just to demonstrate. Um, I'll just show you the choke as well. There's one thing I really like with it. It has this like little lip around the edge. It just feels really good to hold on to compared to the Roland, which doesn't have it. Um, so I'll show you the chokes now. And on the 13 inch crash, and I'll do some cymbal swells. And the bell of the ride. One thing with the ride, you have to hit it right on the center of the bell. So I've actually ang angled the lemon logo up that way so that, because it's my natural hitting point of the bell is at that angle. Um, so yeah, so that's the bell. And around the symbol. Triggering is great on this thing. I'm really impressed with it. Uh, same with this, this is more sort of crashy. I mean, it's quite simple. We'll do some cymbal swells. And yeah, I mean, that's it really. I mean, straight out of the box, you can plug it in with the roller modules and it works straight out of the box. So it's brilliant. Uh, I haven't changed any of the sensitivity. Uh, so I'm gonna play a little beat for you guys now.
So overall, I'm really pleased with these cymbals as an alternative to the Roland's. They're a lot cheaper. I think they feel great. Um, yeah, and I'll let you know how I get on with these in the future. So yeah, thank you for watching today. Take care, like and subscribe. Peace out.